Well, well, well. It seems Deboken has officially fallen off. It's just a shame, really. The game had so much potential, but there were just so many issues with the game. And now with the release of Type Soul, everyone is just finally done with it. So let's take a deep look and go over all the issues that the game suffered from that contributed to its fall off. Starting with one of the biggest issues, Track Stars. <laughs> now track starring was never really an issue at first. It was only upon the release of verse 2 that we witnessed a surge of players using runner builds. This is due to the fact that A, the Jessica Oath was released, and B, the devs continuously added mobility moves and talents that complemented them. The issue with this was that, if you had the right mantras, you could essentially outrun anyone. A player at 1% could outrun a group of 5 people and they wouldn't be able to stop it. The devs never catered to this issue and instead only made things worse by adding more mobility moves to the game and assassination talents that allowed you to teleport to targets far away and give them the blinded effect whilst on your back. This would cause for people to camp above Neve during 1v1s, wait for someone to get knocked and then teleport to them unannounced and essentially just kidnap them, and you couldn't do anything but watch. Numerous times my friends would be kidnapped during sparring sessions or my grip would be stolen as a track star would teleport to me and then Jet Striker would climb up a mountain as I can't do anything. The devs have pushed out multiple updates to attempt to nerf runner playstyles but they still continue to thrive and there's nothing we can do about it. What bugs me is that this was never really an issue in verse 1. Almost nobody played runner builds back then as it was way harder to run from fights. Instead, you're forced to stand your ground and fight, which makes sense since this is a PvP game, right? But since Verse 2's release, the influx of track stars and runners have just been through the roof. Maging has been a problem since Verse 1, but it was never really this bad. The state the game is in right now is just horrible when it comes to the issue of maging, and the devs continue to cater to this playstyle by releasing things like Elemental Rebound, giving players plus 10 HP when they uncap their attunement, and adding multiple unfair hybrid mantras and talents that encourage this playstyle. Like why is it possible to make your flaming servants this large? Why did they add permafrost prison? Why did they fucking add Sukuna's flame arrow to what's supposed to be a Dark Souls-like adventure game? And the thing is about this is that the devs do nothing about it. They just keep adding more busted stuff or reworking slash giving new sparks to already good moves. You have a majority of players running around as a fucking avatar and are rewarded for it. The style of Deepoken has drastically changed since release. The game used to be a much more darker themed game with less flashy visuals and was more down to earth. There weren't as many anime references scattered throughout the game, things weren't so blinding and colorful and vibrant. The game felt more serious and hardcore which is something that a lot of players got hooked to on release. Over time though like everything else, the devs turned up the vibrancy and continuously added more flashy and obnoxious moves and weapons that just didn't fit the style of the game. And over time they ruined the theme slash style of Deepoken. The game was advertised as a skill-based game with pairing and quick dodging combat. We were told that if you were better than someone, no matter the level difference, you would win. But after some time, the devs decided to throw this rhetoric out of the window after complaining about the duration of fights, and provided us with a clip of arguably the best player at the time engaging in a decently long fight against a member of one of the best people can guild at the time as their example. They also saw it fit to give everyone evasives in a parry-based combat game. They took the already good working system we had and ruined it when nobody asked for this. And we were all forced to adapt to this new combat system, which arguably took Deepoken from having one of the best combat systems on Roblox to just another mediocre PvP system. That rhetoric of, if you are better than someone you will win, was now less likely as getting comboed was almost inevitable if you were to make even one mistake. Before, fights took a lot more skill. For example, you had to genuinely mix up your opponents. If you were getting comboed back then, it was genuinely your fault and you had to assess the situation and get out of the combo. There was no temple burst to save you, and this system genuinely required skill and thought processing to win against your opponents. Now most of the combos you get into are for the most part unescapable, and you can't parry for the first couple of seconds. And you're forced to rely on temple burst, which if you don't have, you're just cooked. And if you do have, people can just dodge it. That unique feeling that the game had in first one, where everything was serious and more dark toned and the combat was hardcore, you knew that your skill would be the reason if you won or lost a fight. Now the game has turned into a build vs build meta. Skill is less rewarded and we are too far gone to return to the beauty that we once had. 
People have even made replicas of Verse 1's combat to mimic the feel of Verse 1, which just goes to show how poorly the adaption of Verse 2 has taken us. And I feel like the fact that a majority of players who weren't good in Verse 1 have now had more success in Verse 2 just goes to show that the game lost a lot of its skill requirement. I honestly wish they would try something like how Fortnite did with their OG season and allow us to experience Verse 1 for a week or so because the system back then was way more consistent and enjoyable. You genuinely felt happy beating someone not because of your build but because of your own skill. But now it's just the other way around. We haven't had a major content update since Verse 2's release. Every weekly update feels as if the game is just getting worse. Either a new Shadow Care package, a new 3 star mantra that's insanely overpowered, or a new legendary weapon with 20 criticals. The game continues to get more and more less skilled and unbalanced with each update they drop, and we're forced to deal with another stupid weapon, mantra, or talent that doesn't fit the theme of the game. Have you ever been reading the Deep Oaken update logs and thought, what the hell were they thinking? This happens way too often, and it feels as if the devs have just lost their sight of the original vision of the game. I believe these are the issues that have contributed to Deep Oaken's falling off, and when Types were released, the remaining players that have been dealing with this BS for the past two years have just finally had enough and have jumped to Types in the past time. Honestly, I feel like this should be a wake-up call to the devs to step it up and fix the game's current problems, rather than just releasing more things as if that's going to change anything. Fix the track start issue, fix the maging issue, fix the PvP issues, and maybe this game can be restored to its former glory.